Welcome back, folks. Do you like to whoop? I like to whoop. Do you like to whoop fast? How about really fast? How about mythological creature fast? What do I have here today? It's the unicorn motor from Newbie Drone. I'm going to put it in a cockroach frame with this, the Beta F3 all-in-one flight controller VTX camera combo. Stay tuned. This is my current whoop setup. It's a uh, Furious FPV uh, Acro Whoop V2 with a Beta FPV camera VTX combo and one of their really sweet looking translucent blue hoods. Some three blade props. And these are the Lumineer 17,000 KV motors. And this thing is fast. I really like it. And I was going to order some replacement motors just as a backup to make a second whoop, just in case this one disappears, breaks, crashes, whatever. And uh, right before I hit the buy button, Newbie Drone posted on their Facebook page the Unicorn Motors. That's these guys here. They are a really neat looking multi rainbow colored case. They're a little bit longer than the normal whoop motors. These ones. 17,000 kV, these ones a whopping 25,500 kV. I'm expecting some pretty short life and some pretty short flight times, but let's see if it's worth it. Here's my cockroach frame, nice pretty blue. And uh, if you've ever noticed on the cockroach frames, there's a little nub in the bottom here, like this one, to kind of space the motors up. Since these motors are just a little bit taller than a normal tiny whip motor, all you gotta do is get in there with a set of side cutters and just nip the little nub off there if you want. That'll make the motor fit flush with the top of the frame right here. Uh, you can choose not to do that. Doesn't really make too much of a difference, I don't think. Uh, I, I prefer to keep the, the props down farther inside of the duct. So I went ahead and nipped that little nub off of there. I'll just push this motor in, make sure we don't pinch any wires. There we go. This thing is all outfitted. Four brand new unicorns. And a Beta F3 flight controller. And their all-in-one camera VTX combo. It's a really clean, sleek setup. It's actually a set of uh, pins on the board here that the VTX pin into so there's no no soldering for wire or there's no soldering for power on the camera or VTX and this board has the added bonus of it has a bait built-in beta flight OSD and it's a FR sky version because that's what I run okay. I got all the gummies on the corners all the little rubber mounts carefully Kind of line this up, push them onto the posts. The whole one at a time thing was not going to work. Yeah, looks like I might have it. Just kind of work your way around. Darn, I got one of them pinched in there. If you look here, you can see there's maybe you can or cannot see, but there's a couple pins right there. Those plug into right here on the board, and this wire here is for your OSD. So if you decide to buy this setup and you have a flight control that doesn't have an OSD, you just jump these two wires together. And I just gotta watch out for an antenna wire there for our receiver.
lining those pins up. They're pretty tight fit. There we go. Just slid right on. Once you get her, you get her. Alright. Got that. Run our receiver antenna up. No. Just put it right there for now. Connect our OSD, which is a it's basically just a video in, video out. so small. There we go. Let's click together. And now, let's see we got our mounting screws here. Oh, where'd all our screws go? Guess what? Yeah, they're stuck to our motors. That's where they always end up. Stinking screws. Alright, so we got a selection of screws to go from. I'll put our back one in now since we don't have a mounting point on the canopy. And just to get a little bit of a little bit of squish out of that mount and that'll be good over there this is a much more elegant setup a little bit of squish a little bit of squish well that was pretty dang easy came with a couple extra screws don't really know what those for and it came with a pigtail in case you got a board with an OSD instead of one of their boards that's already pre-wired you can use that all right hook up the motors now and for these just you know, the wire is a little bit of a twist Stuff is so hard to work with sometimes. There's one. I really like these cockroach frames. I I know, I know what you're thinking. Yep, can't fly without props. There you go. Props. No. Props, yo. Yeah. Alright, well I've flown probably I don't know, a dozen dozen batteries through this. I'm using uh, some high volt lipos. And I gotta say, these motors are ridiculously fast. Super fast. Just a ton of fun. Motors come down hot. Batteries come down hot. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna last very long. Uh, the manufacturer says about nine hours of flight time with these uh, motors before they're junk. I'm sure it's gonna kill all my batteries, but it is so much fun. It is so fast. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's an experience. I, if I have to replace these, uh, I'm I'm gonna buy another set again. They're just a ton of fun. I will say that it's nice to have a lower KV, tiny whoop waiting in the wings just in case uh, you want to do some really slow technical stuff. But uh, this is a ton of fun, and it'll probably be, uh, probably pretty good outside. Uh, can't wait till it's uh, a little nicer out go rip it around outside see what happens anyways thanks for watching if you like what i do leave some comments like subscribe all that stuff uh catch you in the next one